Hi, I'm Anthony at JJ Cookson. I'm going to be showing you around this 308 GT line and what main features come along with it. So the first thing we've got, the alloy wheels as you can see. You've got your chrome finish which goes around the windows. And you do also have your rear tinted windows as well which, can, which are very nice. And on the back, you do have your reverse parking sensors across the bottom of the bumper. Just quickly show you the boot size. Going to show you the interior design. If you come around the front, as you can see at the bottom, you do have your fog lights, you do also have your front parking sensors across the bumper. And you do also get LED headlights, which are very nice. I'm going to show you what features come on the inside now. So the first thing you can see on the touchscreen here is you do have your digital radio, which is very good because it means you can listen to a wider range of radio stations. It does also come with Bluetooth, so if you wanted to listen to your own music, you do also have that option as well. You can just get the radio by pressing the top left button as you can see there. If you press the next one down, you can see you do have a sat nav, which is very good. If you press the next one down, you have your climate control. So you can change the temperature of the driver's side. You can also do the same for the passenger side as well as you can see. These two buttons I was messing about with are your fan power, so clearly turn it down with that one and turn it back up with the opposite. And these three buttons across the top are the ones where you want the air to be blowing. And as you can see, if you wanted to, you can have all three selected. So now see as well, you've got your aircon at the bottom. If you come down, see on the right you've got your USB slot, which is good because it means you can charge your phone while you're driving. And it does also mean you've got access to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is very good. And you do have a cigarette charging socket there as well. It's got an electric handbrake, which is very cool. And if you look up, you have a glass roof, which is very nice. You can close the electric blind by pressing these buttons here. So you press the white side to close it, to reopen it again, and simply just press the opposite, the opposite as you can see. And put the car into reverse. As you can see, you do have a reversing camera. It's on the left. You've got, you can, uh, you've got a clear view of what's behind you when you're reversing. Very good for parking up, for example. And this camera on the right is like an overview camera. So say, if you're reversing into a parking space, you'd start to see the lines appear on each side of the little car, which is good because it shows how well you've parked up and if you need to adjust at all. Yeah, it's a very cool feature. Thank you for watching. If you need any further information, give us a call, drop us an email.